Hello everyone and welcome to Lockdown Learner. Today we are having Vaiv Haswani who is undergraduate and current, uh, currently working as a Python developer. So Vaiv, introduce yourself. So yeah, hello everyone. I'm Vaiv Haswani. I'm currently pursuing BTEC from Chitkara University and I've done uh, many open source projects including an uh, Python and other programming languages. Yeah. So Vaiv, well, how to start Python like most of the people are moving towards Java like 70 to 80 percent people are going yeah, towards Java so right. you have not like kind of a thing that I should also go in Java not like Python no so first I started with C and C++ when I was in uh, class 11th and then I switched to Java when I just uh, you know uh, came to college and we, we were having a subject of Java I started Java there then I thought let's give it a go to Python because I I was having this you know uh, AI was intriguing me. So I thought let's switch to Python. So I switched to Python. I worked the lang worked with the language and I, uh, the semantics of the language attracted me. So the syntax of the language, because it's and, easy, you know, yeah, it, attract it attracted you because it's easy. No, it didn't attract it because, because it's easy. Like it, it is compact. Okay. It was compact. So, uh, if you're writing code in Java, the same code, like if you're writing 20 lines of code in Java, so the t same code will take, you know, uh, five to six lines in Python. So yeah, you can say that, that is, that can saves a lot of time. Yeah. So like on which platform you are like doing Python or which la yeah, platform you prefer to do Python? So there isn't any specific platform. So you just need a Python interpreter in your uh, computer. That's it. Okay. So you can use any co uh, code editor. There are so many code editors, Visual Studio Code and uh, Sublime Text. But I uh, generally prefer, like, you know, for testing some kind of code and all, a temporary code, I prefer uh, coding online using repelit repel.it that's a good online ide i will i will suggest to use that and for uh, for doing data related stuff and all like machine learning and uh, deep learning i use jupyter lab yeah that's a notebook server yeah so there's any like good certification for python or like any certification you have done yeah so uh, first of all i have done uh, complete python developer certification from udemy zero delivered by zero to mastery academy and i think that uh, person shouldn't follow the certification for learning anything certification doesn't uh, defines your you know your capability like what you are that doesn't define that so uh, you can learn the language from simple youtube channel like Telusco, they deliver a good amount of you know knowledge to you the core concepts of a programming language languages so a person generally needs to know the core concepts of a programming languages i think that if you know a core concept of a programming language of any programming language you can switch to any other programming languages like i have learned kotlin within you know three or four days so yeah you can say you can switch to any programming language. You just need to know the core concepts of uh, languages like uh, object-oriented orient, uh, programming and, you know, but that's it. And basic semantics like loops and all. Uh, that's, that's what you need to know. And for Python, like if you know the core concepts, now that's the part. Uh, that's the part you have to think which domain you want to, you know, switch. So there are various domains delivered by Python. Like you can uh, switch to web development and you can switch to AIML and networking, web scraping, and so many different domains are offered, even mobile development using frameworks like Kiwi. So uh, there are a hell lot of a scope in you know Python. You can switch to any domain, but it's your personal preference. And I'll I'll suggest that I'll suggest to the viewers that uh, before after learning the core la language, you should, you know prefer documentation instead of going for any you know specific certification 
you can uh, prefer documentation of a particular framework to learn that because in documentation there are so many like you know you can learn every object every attribute of that which certification didn't, didn't you know deliver you so yeah my suggestion is that and for learning ai you have to you know take a course because that's a theoretical thing and you have to take any you there are so many uh, free lessons in youtube and you can take uh, you know and juice and ng course because uh, like i personally uh, prefer this course for learning machine learning and all yeah and uh, what certification i did in machine learning were uh, i did machine learning from stand for online uh, and a deep learning specialization from deeplearning.ai that's the leading uh, platform you know for learning deep learning and a specialization in tensor flow and deploying ai systems to the machine learning uh, to the uh, mobile devices yeah nice explanation vaibhav like most of the freshers think like we have to go towards the certification and all like this will give uh, this will like looks good on our resume also like we have n- done this number of certification yeah. but the main thing is that you should have a knowledge also and you can gain that knowledge from yeah. like free sources That's that is like youtube and all they're not necessary to take that like eight course, courses and all if you want to learn you can learn from the free right now you can learn yeah. anything you, yeah. internet has everything for free you can learn yeah. anything there are free documentations you can learn from the documentation rather than going i i personally prefer learning from the documentations so uh, for theoretical concept you can you know uh, use if you have money you can take paid courses from deeplearning.ai they have literally literally good courses i personally taken them uh, yeah so i will suggest them but if you will want to learn it their playlists are available for free in youtube so you can also watch them okay so uh where like what kind of work you are doing in python like on what technology like machine learning data science like what yeah i've been yeah i've been uh, working with machine learning and you know uh deploying ai uh, systems to the mobile devices since like couple of months and yeah you can say i have i've also developed a rest api to classify toxicities of a sentence okay so a user can you know put a request to with the through the api uh, with a sentence with a sentence like and my api will return my server will return the a json response containing the probabilities of each toxicity along with that along with the labels like there are 10 classes of toxicities insert and other so they there's a json response with each label and their probability yeah so like if so uh, i've done yeah. so many yeah different projects yeah so like if a beginner is doing python like on which technology he or she should start for first which technology yeah so uh, before yeah before starting with like you know any technology yeah any framework you should know the core concepts of a language so n- not language core concepts of programming you should know how to develop a logic how to solve a a good programmer a good uh, problem solver is a good programmer that's an old say- saying so if you're having a good mind like you have you can make logics easily you are hell lot better than other programmers you just need to have a good mindset and you know good mind problem solving mind yeah so you just need to have a problem solving mind and you need to know the pro- programming fundamentals that's all you need to know and you can do anything i think and programming language specific programming language is just a utility we can compare the programming language. they they are just for the utility to develop things and if you know a uh, fundamental of any programming language you can switch to any programming language and develop new things okay so python which language do you prefer yeah so i am having a different answer for this question according to me each language has its own important role plays a 
plays its own important role so uh, it depends on the pref- preference languages are just utility okay they are just you know for developing android apps you will you will go for you know kotlin and java for ai so and machine learning i would like to have one like one python. point i would like to add one point i would like to stop you here like uh, like yeah. weber said like a very good well said weber like he said every language have a different like uh, for their own scope so it's like in first year we think like we are having a c language like c language have nothing to do with the future and this kind of thing but we don't know like in hardware c language have a main role like a bluetooth like this kind of a wireless like wifi bluetooth like wi- wireless the wireless yeah. devices we are using they are all coded in c language it's not like the yeah, c language yeah. is not like having arduino scope. iot yeah. devices like arduino yeah. microcontrollers like arduino yeah. yeah it's also used in you know uh, building the kernels of operating yeah. system so same yeah. like that goes to with the company also like different companies are using like different language like amazon mostly works on java google works on java and python yeah. because uh, uh, because 90% app developer uh, go tilted towards like java they build app in java uh, rather than preferring now in nowadays like rather than preferring this python so they are preferring java nowadays uh, so where we would like to add some points in this yeah like according to me it's 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 not like he uh they are preferring java it depends upon the uh, what kind of project they are making mm-hmm. uh, they they choose the language according to the you know project because uh, they cannot develop a ai system with java for that they they need to you know use they they have to use python and uh, for building their own kernel or something they 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 can prefer java where do you have any industrial experience so as i told you like you know uh, six semester so i've been applying with to uh, for internships since you know six months and i've got an opportunity to uh, as an as a python developer intern in uh, qualivel company it's a uk based uh, company so yeah i don't have any pre uh, industrial experience but i'm going to have you can sir so nice to talk to you ever and thanks for being the part of a lockdown learner